newspapers nine years ago, there was a controversial federal report that was warning of the dangers of right-wing extremism. According to its author, quote, the economic downturn back in 2008, going into 2009, and the election of the first African-American president present unique drivers for right-wing radicalization and recruitment. The report created a bit of a firestorm in Capitol Hill. Janet Napolitano, then head of the DHS, disavowed the report. Well, Daryl Johnson wrote that report as a senior domestic terrorism analyst for the Department of Homeland Security and now owns DT Analytics. It's a private consulting firm for state and local law enforcement agencies. Mr. Johnson, thanks for coming on. Thank you, Chuck. So, you've seen today's news. Is there any part of your report that you wrote in 2009 um, that if law enforcement had it today, that might have prevented this? Well, I don't know about preventing it, but we did sound the alarm back in 2009 that due to the economic downturn and the unprecedented election of having the first African-American elected, that this would serve as a recruitment boom for these extremist groups on the far right. Uh, so we have anti-government groups, we have hate groups like white supremacists, we have people that don't even want to be U.S. citizens. They're called sovereign citizens. This was, the report at the time was criticized. Some Republicans on Capitol Hill thought it was encroaching on speech and to the point of saying, well, wait a minute, there, there's what, what's wrong with criticizing the president, that they thought that line. What, what line did you draw between normal criticism versus extremism? Yeah, so there was two points of criticism. One was the fact that we pointed to returning military veterans coming home to a downturn in the economy, not getting the health care that they deserve, and that they may be susceptible to recruitment by these groups. Not that they would just go out and join these groups arbitrarily, right. but that they would actually be targets of recruitment because of their military training and their leadership. Uh, so that was one controversial point. The other, as you pointed out, was the vague definition that we had buried in a footnote that right. talked about you know, people that opposed abortion and illegal immigration and uh, were anti-government in general. Uh, taking that definition out of context, I could see where there was confusion. Uh, mm -hmm. But within the scope of the document, we were talking about violent extremism, criminality, terrorism. And so that's kind of where the message got lost is when that mischaracterization occurred.